else my life going to be like? Is this is this it? Am I going to be you know dependent instead of independent? Yeah, I can't do and anything right now. Right now, yes, but I'm telling you, and, and you know, with all my heart, you are going to be more independent, you know, than you ever w were. And, <laughs> I can't believe it's the same. So you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're the exact same. I'm actually four inches above the knee, and I'm below the knee. So, but I mean, through the knee is the same, basically the same thing. I mean, you'll actually have an advantage of being, you know, weight bearing a little bit more on that the, the right side. But you know, just so you know that there's so many, you know, this is basically the, the start. You know, this is the new beginning for for the both of you. And, uh, you know, so many opportunities that's going to come your way and so much, uh, you know, support. You know, clearly you have a support system. <laughs> and, you know, that's huge. That's and that's mentality, you know, you got you, know, you just got to have that positive attitude to, yeah. to really pull through. And, you know, you have your daughter, you know, you have, you know, to go through this with you. And, uh, which, you know, is a, is a huge blessing in disguise. And, you know, this, is, this isn't the end. This is the beginning. You know, great thing. These guys, I'm sure, got plenty to say as well. Well, I was just one. Uh, obviously, she got her pretty looks, pretty looks from you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, great to see you. You look good. Thank you. you look real good. Thank you. This doesn't matter. This is just a change of scenery. It really is. I know. I mean, Gabe here, he's he's moving and running. He's doing the Paralympics. I mean, really? and, and you may want to do that one day. Well, you or know you what? My sister, so this was her first... I don't know if you've heard anything about our story. My sister did her first um, Boston Marathon, this marathon. Wow. I had, all, you know, I've lived in this area my whole life. I've always watched the marathon. I've never actually come to the marathon to watch it. Right. And um, I was so proud of her. She wasn't, you know, a born runner like some people are. She worked so hard to do it, and I was so proud to be there to cheer her on. And she... Um, you know, was coming around almost onto Boylston Street, Boylston Street. She didn't actually get to finish the race right. because of the bomb and everything. And um, so after, I think it was, was it Matthew? Her 11-year-old son said, um, you know, Mom, are you going to run the race again next year for Auntie Sal? And so she said, she said yes. And when she was telling me the story, I always joked around, like, I'm not super athletic. I like to work out and stuff, but running's never been my thing because I always get the most horrible shin splints. Right. So I was like, hey, no I don't have shins anymore. I don't have any shin splints. I can That's do That's the this. attitude right there. Then. Yeah.